Okay, everybody, this is how we're going to test an alternator on an 897 AM4 alternator and start our bench tester using a bit older style model. Um, this one does not have a bracketless cradle. We'll post a video later of one using a bracketless cradle. Anyway, first thing you want to do is turn on the master and the motor switch on the front of the machine, which are these two here. And then we just want to give it a few minutes to boot up. This tester right here is just one that AM4 uses for training purposes, so. As you can see, it's starting to boot up and turn on. It does take a little bit of time to get to the home screen, so we're just going to give it some time. Okay, as you can see, now it is asking which uh, language option you would like. Go ahead and pick your preference. <clears throat> now it's going to start loading the internal diagnostics, checking to make sure that everything's reading right and loading right. And then eventually it will load the main program. Okay, once you get to this home screen, we're going to choose an alternator test. Here we'll enter the part number, and then the tester will show you which test lead to use and how to hook it up. So we're gonna select alternator test here, and we're gonna put in the part number, and hit continue. And here it's saying to use an RVC test lead, and it's telling you how to hook up the positive and negative from the main harness, plug in the test lead, and plug the plug into the alternator. So in order to do that, this is what we call a turret. You can push this button here on the side and it allows you to lift the turret out. And you wanna use the pull on the turret that fits the mounting holes on the alternator the best. So we're gonna use this one here. Once you figure out which one you want to use, you just push the button and drop it back down inside the slot there. Then we're going to take our alternator <clears throat> and we're going to slide that pole right through the mounting bracket on the alternator. Slide it all the way as far as you can left on the turret and lean it back. Then you're going to go ahead and make sure that your belt is on this pulley back here in the grooves. And then we're going to put this belt onto the pulley of the alternator. Once you have that on, we're gonna take this green handle here and we're gonna lock the base of the cradle all the way over to the farthest foot. That's gonna make your belt nice and tight. You don't want a whole bunch of play in this or it's not gonna give an accurate pull on that alternator. Then you're gonna go ahead and close the door. Make sure it's closed all the way. And then we're gonna grab our RBC test lead. We're gonna plug it into the main harness of the alternator tester and then you're going to take the plug and plug it into the alternator here make sure it's all the way seated you're going to put the positive on the positive or the B plus on the alternator and then we're just going to ground to the case you can ground to one of these knobs or in here just make sure you don't get too close to these copper windings in there once you have it all hooked up, it's ready to test, just go ahead and hit begin test. Okay, the test is complete. It's giving us a good result. So this would test as a good alternator. If it gave you a failed result, you can do this whether it passes or fails. You wanna push view result. 
and I'll tell you everything on the screen, what it's passing for, what it's failing for, and at what voltage. <clears throat> then you just go ahead and go continue and say, do not print the results. And you can choose, is this a customer unit? Did the customer bring it back for a warranty return and you're testing it again? Or is it brand new off the shelf? In our case, this is off the shelf, so we're gonna pick that. And then you're, at this point, it's telling you, go ahead and remove the alternator. So you're just gonna go ahead, open up the side door, take your leads off. You want to make sure to unplug your test lead from the main harness every time. Then go ahead and take the belt off. Unengage the handle. Slide your alternator off. And then you're ready to test whatever you want to test next. Um, 